Olá! Eu sou a Georgia Anunciação e nesse episódio da nossa websérie, eu estive em Durham, Carolina do Norte, para falar com o autor de Cloud, Rich Hickey. Rich também é o designer do Datomic, solução para a base de dados que usamos aqui. Desde a aquisição da Cognitech, o Rich também faz parte do time do Nubank. O Closure foi lançado para o mundo em 2007 e no ano de 2022 está completando 15 anos. Conheça o Rich e confira um pouco mais sobre o que ele pensa a respeito do futuro da linguagem. Hi Rich. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. Rich, what was your inspiration for creating Closure? Well, I had been programming in Java and C++ and C Sharp and felt like I wanted something more. I had some experience with Common Lisp and it was inspiring to me to try to figure out how to use Lisp uh, for work. And so Closure was about trying to make Lisp reach to the environments where I had been doing Java and C Sharp before. That was probably the main inspiration to try to get to use Lisp for work. What do you think that are the main points that distinguish Clojure from other programming languages? So I think it is that data orientation. Uh, it starts, Clojure starts by being a Lisp and then sort of adds to that more of a functional orientation. And I think more of an emphasis on using maps and functions of maps and so It has a focus on first-class treatment of names and the ability to uh, manipulate maps via names and manipulate the names programmatically. And that makes it a good language for doing what I would call information-oriented programming. What are the main challenges in maintaining a language that is widely used by programmers all over the world? Uh, well, I think the prime directive is to make sure that you don't break anyone. <laughs> You know, a language sits under libraries, which sit under application programs and services. And so if you destabilize the foundation, everything above uh, suffers. Uh, so uh, stability is absolutely the main challenge. If you're going to do something, uh, in my mind, you want to make sure that you don't break anyone. And so that's why we're pretty conservative about, about that. So stability, I think, is the main challenge. You can't make everybody happy. That's, that's sort of the bottom line. What do you think is the future of Clojure? Do you have any plans for the next 15 years from now? <laughs> uh, well, it's hard to predict the future. I think uh, certainly the emphasis on continuity and stability is going to dominate. Uh, I think that there are domains for which Clojure is a good fit, for which Clojure is not yet used as widely, like data science, and I'd like to see more emphasis put on that. Whether that's in the language or not, it's probably not, and that's a good thing. Right? It's a list, which means you should be doing that kind of stuff in libraries. But I'd like to see more libraries and tooling created to help Clojure uh, become a leading data science language. So, last question. You are an inspiration for lots of people, and what's your tip for programmers in general to exceed in their careers? Well, I think, you know, young programmers uh, tend to be focused on the technology and sort of the details of the technology of the day. And, you know, everything you learn about the specifics of a particular technology is going to change and the te technologies will move along. So I think the main advice I'd have is to focus on principles and ideas and less so on specifics because the specifics will change. You know, spend your time and mental energy on understanding concepts and understanding ideas and focusing on problems. I think that's the other big piece of advice I give to people. Thank you very much. Sure. Gostou desse episódio? Curte, compartilha e se inscreve no canal.